hi guys hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel it's me it's i cha cha so guys in today's video <laughs> it will be a rant video actually we will talk about a lot that's going on in this country before then if you are just seeing this face for the first time please do well to subscribe and if you are an oldie of this channel thank you for coming back again i love you guys so much so let's head into this video <music> In fact, let me just start because I'm already angry. Listen, guys, we actually went to visit a prison. My boss was doing um her birthday, so she decided to use um the medium actually to visit the prison. So, guys, when we got there, first of all, a day before um we went there, we we're told that we could um see them, but we'll see them in a distance due to COVID nineteen. We'll see them in a distance, so. When we got there the next day, guys, they were like, well, I cannot see them. Even the judge of those um, of Nigeria came the other day. He couldn't enter this and that. They're just talking rubbish, like, blabbing nonsense. And we couldn't enter the prison due to COVID-19. But they told us when we came to register that we could enter. But now, guys, we couldn't enter again because of what COVID-19. It was so annoying. Like, at a certain point, we didn't know what to do. We were just angry. We are like, okay, what's the need of coming if we cannot even see people that we came for? They are like, okay, the only thing we can do is to snap um, pictures with the words, um, the officers there and then um, give our coolers to them that they will share to the people. They just, I don't even understand. They're just blabbing rubbish, guys. They're just talking nonsense, aren't nonsense. Like, it was so annoying. But afterwards, we had to, you know, Nigeria, this is, this is our country. We just have to take it like that. <laughs> They're telling us to bring money before we could enter into the prison. Can you imagine? It's, as in, it was not like as if it was generally, just individually. If you want to enter, you give them money, you enter, you see whoever you, you want to see. If you don't see anybody, just give them whatever you have and, you know, greet them and stuff like that. Like, I was so mad. Like, I was so angry. I was like, why is this country like that? Okay, let me just get into the story. I actually entered there, but I didn't pay to enter. I actually used an excuse. I want to uh, keep the coolers into the prison. And that was how I entered and I saw what my eyes couldn't contain, guys. It was... Ah! No. Guys, people are suffering. Like, I could even... I literally saw a six-year-old six guy in that prison. Like, I can't, I can't even take this right now, honestly. I also a crippled there. What did a cripple do to this country? What did a, what offense a cripple um, commit? What did a six years old boy actually commit? It was really really annoying, guys, to see a cripple like a six years. They were literally begging us, like they were saying, "Please help us." This even the little they had, like like everybody they cried like. Everyone that went there to visit cried, guys. It was bad. Honestly, eh, we really need to thank God that you're coming out every day from your house, eating, breathing, watching TV, pressing your phone. Ha, ah, God, this is, is it really is grace. Oh, this thing is grace. Because most people that are in that prison, guys, most of them didn't commit any crime, guys. Most of them didn't commit crime. It was just like a mass arrest. Maybe they killed someone in a particular place and they just, um, police were just to come and, you know, carry people there. Majority of them did, like, if you are, if there were 700 in that prison, 100 didn't commit a crime. They didn't commit, like, a legal crime. You can say, okay, this is actually what this person did. It was maybe just nonsense. Just people that don't have people to bail them out or people can, as in, so people don't have money to take themselves to court. So, you know, something as in, it was bad. 
honestly it was bad i like <sighs> i didn't see anyone i knew in, in that prison but like i was so so sad to see young boys that and guys there are talents there like they are literally great talents as in, who we, as in, if you see one guy that came out from the prison and was like telling us to buy one bag, he he like he beaded it with um beads. It was looking so lovely. Like if you had to put that kind of bag in a boutique, you will buy it ten k. You buy it five k. I am online. The bag was so fine. See talent wasting. Honestly, uh, it's it's honestly a pity. That most people there in that prison didn't commit crime. But we really need to look into this thing. In our country, we really, really need to look into this. It's bad. Honestly, it is. I really don't want to get emotional in this video. But honestly, this is really, really... Like, the whole of that day was just... I was sad. I wanted to even go out maybe after the visit. Maybe just go chill with my friends. I was not in that mood after then. I was not in that mood again, guys. I just wanted to go home and cry out my, my eyes and sleep from there. I was just sad throughout that day, honestly. But well, shy. I just came here to tell you guys what I saw and how painful it was to see a six years old guy. And I'm very, very sure, I'm pretty sure that um it was a maybe a female there that got pregnant something like that and she gave and the boy has been living there all his life like it's a bad thing it's really really a bad stuff but anyhow shy guys i know you guys i hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys are enjoying your lockdown or the pandemic <laughs> your side feel free and please comment down below if you've been to any prison and what was your experience in the prison so guys See you in my next video. Bye.